welcome to another up close video. Today's one is looking at Tonic's Country Garden Milk Churn, which is one of the sets that's coming out during their Cyber Week celebrations for 2021. Um, and it is a fantastic um, dye, stamp and coordinating blister set. I do only have one of the blisters to show you, so I haven't actually made one into a card because I wanted to show you the blister by itself. Um, but I think these will probably come in packs of 5 or 10, so when you buy the bundle you should get a pack of 5 or 10 of these. And um, I did ask and they said they would be available individually to buy as well, so you could buy refills for them too, which is fantastic. Um, and you've got a lovely A4 five die set and then kind of like a little four by four sort of square stamp set that coordinates with it and I also wanted to mention at the beginning here um, if you have any of the mason jar die sets there was a sort of everyday mason jar one and then there's also been a Christmas mason jar one as well but I'm thinking more of the everyday one or the country jug die set I think Everything from all of these will mix and match really nicely together. There's like loads of different uh, floral elements and stuff in here and even like um, baking utensils and stuff too, like the rolling pin and the whisk and stuff. So I think these will um, mix and match really nicely together, plus some of the bits and pieces from the original mason jar die set. I would show it to you, but I don't have it on uh, in the original packaging, so I'm not 100% sure uh, how I've organised it and where it is but um, I do know that there are lots of bits and pieces in there that would work really nicely for this and um, the original mason jars came out with this stamp set so it's all like um, jam themed and stuff and I think some of these bits and pieces could work really nicely with the milk churn and also the country jug stamp set was this one that has like a little chicken on it and baking and also has um, dairy and stuff on it as well and like a different oval design I think they could possibly be the same kind of size or the same proportions at least so I reckon you could um, mix and match some of these bits and pieces from this previous stamp set as well and I know for a fact that these two are definitely still in stock on the Tonic website so below this video there will be um, affiliate links to these and the actual um, Country Garden Milk Churn stamp and dye and blister set as well. So if you're interested in, in any of them, there will be um, affiliate links below the video and on my blog post as well that have little pictures so it'll make it easier for clicking on them too. Um, but I really enjoyed working with this set. Um, I didn't, as I said, I didn't actually make the shaker, but I have cut some bits out so you can see how the shaker kind of works. So the idea behind the shaker is that you can put it inside the milk churn. And if you do it like this, you're going to have excess plastic outside of the edge. But if you want to, you can actually like cut another milk churn and sandwich the plastic between them and then trim it off if you want. Um, or to combat this kind of sticking out of the edges, uh, the way you can do it is to cut the actual aperture for the shaker blister into your card, card base, um, stick your milk churn onto that and then place your blister behind and then everything is hidden on the back of the card and no one no one will see like any extra plastic poking out or anything. So that's how you put your blister inside your milk churn. Um, but I have actually done ideas without the blister so um, if you run out of them you've got a few ideas for how to use it without the blister and you do also have this indent on there too which perfectly fits some of the dies from the die set which I think is lovely and you've got this one that can layer on top of that but obviously make sure your heart is <laughs> up the right way before you die cut it because mine's a bit wonky uh, but you can actually put those bits and pieces on there as well so I just wanted to show you that first before I forget because it's clear and I might lose it on my desk. Um, and then we've got the gorgeous stamp and lovely die set as well. I love this die set. The pumpkins that are in here are absolutely fantastic. And you also have sunflowers as well. You've got other florals in here too. You've got some foliage. I'm not 100% sure what all of these are called, but they look lovely. They're the kind of things you would find in like flower arrangements and bouquets and stuff. This could be some kind of like lavender or like... um. A gladiola maybe or something um, and this one almost looks like kind of like a stylized side view of a poppy and then you've also got multiple extra leaves and bits and pieces in here as well so although this is um, a milk churn you can actually turn it into um, a planter or maybe even have it um, tipped over on your card and it's you know 
been left in the garden and maybe you can put like some um, rust or verdigris kind of effects on it as well to kind of turn it into a more aged sort of item too um, or if you have that country jug one I think it'd be perfect with all the utensils coming out of it as well because this is the kind of thing you might have in a country kitchen um, the kind of um, milk churn so this kind of um, idea would work really nicely with that as well for kitchen utensils so let's have a look at the stamp set first we've got some gorgeous little patterns in here this one is stunning I actually use that multiple times in um, the background of one of my cards but it could actually be um, like two calling birds from part of the um, 12 days of Christmas you could actually use it as that because there's two of them in there you've got like this extra sort of swag design some extra little hearts that are graduating in size which are really sweet I love the cow I think that's my favorite from this stamp set it's like a really distressed cow with the word milk inside it you've got a label and you have the coordinating die to cut that out you've got a little um, design that says little garden you've got the garden is my happy place and then you've got this selection of like sunflowers that can wrap around um, the milk churn they've kind of made it so it looks like it would be uh, curving around the design almost looks like it's got a curvature to it and then you have little words here like dairy flowers garden and home that actually fit inside this little oval perfectly as well so really sweet little extra stamp set and all of these bits and pieces can be used on here maybe to turn this into more of like a vase looking thing uh, with like the stamped pattern all over it maybe you could give it like a crazed effect and it would be like that um blue pattern on white china and then it has like a crazing effect on it you could do some kind of technique like that you can use these pieces to sort of daintily decorate around you could even just go with really really subtle design and those tiny little hearts you can stamp the little cow straight onto there as well depending what cardstock you're cutting it out of and have like the little milk cow on there too or you can decorate it with more floral designs as well so it's a really versatile little set that will go with this um, milk churn die set then we have all of the gorgeous dies in here so we have got the main milk churn which is here and this cuts out the milk solid milk churn with the handles and there are like two debossing lines that are going across it to give it that little bit of detail around the neck of the um, churn but you also get the bubble to go around it as well so you could make a shaped gift tag out of this and stick the milk churn on top of it and I think this would actually fit a gift card behind it so if you did it as a gift tag with a gift card on it and then hang it on a present or something um, would be a nice idea or you could actually turn this into a shaped card blank you could hang the fold of a card over the top of this cut line so it won't cut and have a top folding card blank or you can cut two of them score the top of one of them and stick them back to back up here and make a little uh, shaped card that way as well then you also get this piece here which if I can pick it up um, you can't actually cut these two together because the edge of the metal here is much wider than um, the space that's on the interior but you can cut them, you cut one first, cut the other one, and it gives you this. So this is actually the die that makes your blister work with the milk churn, but you don't have to use it with the blister, you could just use this as an extra layer. Maybe, for example, you've cut out the milk churn, you've decided you wanted to stamp one of these bits and pieces on there, but you've stamped it wonky or you don't like how it looks or it didn't stamp very well or something don't chuck the whole um, milk churn away cut this layer and stick it on the top and then no one will ever know that your stamping was off underneath and then you can just stamp again or you can play around with different designs on this panel and then you can swap them out on your card um, to decide which one you like the best or something as well so you have that to turn it into the shaker if you want to then in these two indented lines that are in the die you've got this little channel in there and you've actually got two different dies within the die set that you could use to deboss some detail into that little channel so you've got these like little uh, vertical stripes and then you've got these sort of little squiggles that go off to the side as well which I suppose kind of could emulate like rope or something that sort of design so you've got those two different options to pick from as well and that is the main milk churn then we have loads of extra accessories in here too so we've got this little like road sign or you know little garden sign maybe um, 
you're doing a card for someone who loves gardening and they've been growing pumpkins in their garden you could have like a little sign and you could write pumpkins on it or or use one of the stamps from the stamp set um, to add one of the words onto there as well or maybe another greeting from a different stamp set as well but you do also have two different designs of words that you can place inside that little um, sort of sign really this one says flower market and then this one says this way so you can actually uh, customise the little sign that's on there as well which I think is really sweet then let's go on to the pumpkins because they're my favourite I love these cute little pumpkins I think actually if you had the um, original shop windows which was like the everyday kind of occasions for shop windows I think there was a pumpkin in there as well and it might have been a different size to these so you might actually have then a trio of pumpkins that would go well together um, but they're really fine lovely detail and you also have the bubbles to go with them as well for my ones I did actually cut the details stick it onto card color it and then I cut round it myself because I wanted it to be right up to the detail but you can also uh, use the bubbles stick them on too as well if you'd rather depending if you want to color them or just use cardstock or paper piece the bits back in or you know whatever you want to do with them they're really really gorgeous i love these pumpkins though i'm definitely going to be bringing them out next year for like harvest kind of cards then we have also got the sunflowers in here too so we've got a lovely side view of a sunflower and you can see a bit of the center of it poking out but you've got all the lovely petals and the side view with a little bit of a stalk on there and again you have the bubble for that as well depending on what how you're going to use it really and then you also have um, a gorgeous full head of a sunflower too that's like facing you um, and it's a really lovely random sunflower so it's very organic looking it's not too uh, perfect it looks like a proper sunflower really um, and you also have the bubble to go around that as well which is really nice then you also have a bow in here too so you can put a bow around the top of the milk churn especially if it's got flowers and stuff in it you can have a gorgeous little bow and this actually has the detail die which cuts out um, solid but the top portion of the bow is like more of an outline style and then you also have the little bubble to go around that as well then you have these little dies that I was showing you earlier cutting out onto the milk churn so you can actually this is the perfect size to go on top of the shaker blister and then you can have this layer on top and you can even put this debossing die right in the center of that as well and again I think dies like this would work with your hot foiling machine I haven't tried this specific one so I can't say for definite but I think it would work um, for hot foiling with so you could have a gorgeous little foiled heart on the little plaque that goes on the milk churn. Then another alternative, if you're not using the blister, you don't have to use that shape. You can use this little oval shape as well. And this one says plants on it. It looks really gorgeous done on satin mirror card. looks perfect. And that oval die actually cuts out this uh, label die as well label stamp sorry so you can stamp any of these words into that and then you can cut that out with the die and let me actually just check that other stamp set that I showed you the one that comes with the country jug I think I mean it's obviously going to leave a nice big area around the edge but it's the same proportions of an oval basically or you could even use that little flowers and plants inside that oval as well so you've got that die then you also have a gorgeous little tag that you can hang off of it um, I use this on one of my cards so you'll see that in a minute and it says love inside it it's got like the little debossing letters then you've got this little piece which is kind of like um, string that can be wrapped around the top of the milk churn or I actually use this on the ground on my pumpkin card so it kind of looks like straw or hay or something on the ground and I thought that was quite a nice different use for it or you can actually use this um, as maybe more of like a stalk element and uh, maybe I don't know cut off some of these flowers or stick some of these flowers sort of coming out of this to give you like an elevated sort Sort of stalk version um, that you could sort of build up your floral designs with then I think all of the rest of the dies are all of the other sort of floral pieces so we have got this gorgeous one here which as like I said before it could be like lavender or gla a gladiola or something like that 
um, you've got multiple leaves actually that have the extra bubble that goes around them so you've got this sort of more pointy leaf you've got this one that is very sunflower-esque so it goes perfectly with your sunflowers this one's almost like a frilly leaf you've got again another like pointed sort of leaf but different it's got different detail in the center of it and then you've also got this leaf up here which is another sort of pointy one but it's uh, smaller and then you've even got like a tiny little maple leaf in there as well you've got a gorgeous tiny little sprig of a leaf and these look nice coming out the top of the pumpkin just to give it a little bit of greenery as well you've got this gorgeous like almost stylized poppy kind of a flower you've got these two like fluffy stems I'm not 100% sure what, you, what you'd what you call them maybe they're like fancy grasses or something um, and this um, larger sort of fluffier stem as well and then we also have a gorgeous like little branch too which just builds out any bouquet um, or collection of flowers that you're going to put in your milk churn and adds a little bit of greenery to your design as well so really really lovely stamps and dies within this set um, and I'll be back in one second to show you the cards that I've created with it as well so these are the three cards that I've created using this set and they are all in my sped up video that should be up soon as well uh, I just love those pumpkins so much they just make such a gorgeous um, bright and cheery kind of a card I think especially for um, autumn kind of time as well um, all I've done is just cut three of each pumpkin and like just stack them up and make a really big focal element just of the pumpkins I've also used some of those kind of like fluffy sort of stems in there as well a few of those kind of almost like wild poppy kind of flowers in there and some of the greenery as well um, and I just cut them out of I actually cut them out of the white uh, textured craft perfect but stuck them onto like a creamy colored textured craft perfect and then use my aqua flows to color them and I did um, the white on the cream to try and make the aqua flows be a slightly different color I don't know if it really worked that well um, you know to kind of make it a little bit more discernible between the pattern and the background I'm not sure it really made much of a difference but I, I do really like how they turned out and um, using the aqua flows is just a different way of coloring them you could easily just use your alcohol pens to color them in as well and it would look just as good um, I've used the sentiment the garden is my happy place and I've also used some of the nouveau uh, gemstones on there as well the little cherry hearts um, unfortunately they've discontinued them but I'm pretty sure I saw them on crafty devils the other day still so um, check that out if you're interested in getting the craft uh, the cherry hearts because these are fabulous I use them so much um, and they just work perfectly on this card because it brought in the red from those flowers and um, I just thought it went nicely with the sentiment as well and I've just used the this way little signpost on there as well then I did this one which is using just the top portion of the milk churn as like a vase and I've done um, the plants that's also embedded or like debossed into that um, satin mirror card I think it works really nicely for the milk churn and I've also done the little tag on there as well and then I've just layered in a collection of five of the different sunflowers again coloured in the same way with aqua flows and in the background I have used that gorgeous pattern with the two birds in it and I've just stamped it in a mixture of pumice stone and speckled egg in the background distress oxides and in the background on this one I dragged the pumice stone distress oxide and then salvaged patina distress oxide and then I watercolored over it with the speckled egg distress oxide and this also has splattering of the speckled egg in the background as well I just thought that went nicely with the color scheme of the orange and the bluey kind of colors goes nicely and then for the final card that I've done I also um, turned this into an actual milk churn but I added texture to it so it kind of looks like it's been outside for a long time this is using stone drops and this is the boulder grey um, stone drop and it just works perfectly on top of that satin mirror card and all I did was put some on there and like tap it around and it just gives it that aged kind of look and if you wanted to make it look a little bit rusty or have that patina kind of look to it as well you could easily mix in um, Lady Liberty would give a patina kind of look and maybe the one of the coppery tones I can't remember the name of that one off the top of my head but a coppery tone might give it more of a rusty effect as well and I've just used that little oval stamp and stamped the word dairy inside it and I've also brought in um, on this card and on this card are two of the sentiments from that simple sentiments A5 stamp set 
wait a sec, I've got it next to me here. Um, it's still on the website, but it's a really lovely stamp set just to have to finish off loads of different cards. It's got so many different sentiments on here um, that work for so many different occasions as well. And they're just a gorgeous mixture of fonts in there that work really nicely for all sorts of different cards. Um, and that's what I use for those two sentiments. And then the background on this card, this is pumice stone, speckled egg and salvaged patina distress oxide. And you'll see in the video, I just started with one and diagonally stamped them down the card and then uh, built up a pattern using the three different colours. I just love that cow design. I had to do it as a background and all over background design. So just a really simple card. I mean, I don't know who you would send a card to with a, a milk churn and a load of cows in the background unless it's like a funny joke that somebody that you know you know really loves milk whether it is cow's milk or a different type of milk and um, it could be, just be a funny kind of card for somebody as well so if I have had a chance to make any more cards future me will now take over Okay, so I've got a couple of quick extra samples for you that I managed to create. Um, I really wanted to use this kind of like uh, lavender or fluffy kind of plant um, dye. And there's also like smaller little ones as well, which I also turned into lavender too. And I also wanted to actually show you the shaker pouch um, in use as well. I know earlier on in the video I showed you how you can cut the outside dye and the inside dye and this is actually the same die cut that I was showing you but I had shown you how to add it to a card but I thought um, because I've already shown you that idea I will show you how to sort of turn it into like um, a cute little gift tag that you could add to a present. Um, I think I mean especially because I've made this kind of like lavender if you had um, a potted plant of lavender you could add this as the gorgeous little um, gift tag and I've actually used the little stamped word home on this one so it could be like a new home gift as well which I thought would be quite nice um, and to go with the purple of the lavender I actually used the purple organza butterfly confetti that tonic do um, along with some micro beads as well to give it a nice noise when it shakes and I've used the satin mirror card to cut the outside and the aperture. I did, I did also have to trim off the excess plastic, which I was showing you earlier how you could avoid that if you were putting it into a card and you didn't want to trim off the plastic. But you can see how it is actually uh, pretty easy just to trim around the edge and you still have enough adhesive on there to stick the backing of your shaker card on there as well, which is fantastic. Uh, in the background, I use the silver silk cardstock, which has that lovely like stripey design to it. Um, and just use that as a whole piece to back this, just to give it a little bit of difference. So it wasn't just silver on silver, it's kind of two different silvers on top of each other. I've used some tiny little bits of twine to kind of tie around the milk churn. Um, I've layered up the two die cuts that I showed you earlier and um, the heart was wonky on my one, but adding the little word home over the top, you don't know that it's wonky under there. So if you do um, end up doing one of yours wonky, you know, you can just add a word over the top of it to hide that. And then all of the little plants on here, um, the texture, I've got the texture and the colour by cutting the die cuts out of pistachio and avocado green, I think they are. Um, and then I have used a mixture of the... Plum Slate Stone Drop as well as the Purple Basil Vintage Drop because I thought this is like the perfect lavender colour but I wanted the texture of a stone drop so I actually put Vintage Drop first and then dabbed on a little bit of Stone Drop on top so you get that gorgeous texture and the kind of two tones of the different purple colours and I think it just looks fantastic and I loved how they were turning out so much that I wanted to make like... Um, uh, matching kind of gift card to go with it as well and I thought you can kind of make this a vintage botanical kind of theme so I used the debossing dies that you put inside the little sign or this one's actually in an oval and I debossed them into some brown cardstock so it kind of looks like that faux embossed um, leather kind of look and I've done flower market just trimmed it into a rectangle plant and then down here this way as well and then it says the garden is my happy place so that I thought this way kind of goes um, with that kind of sentiment and then I've just done a ton of the other 
gorgeous little fluffy lavendery kind of flowers um, on there as well just clustered them up and then used my little banner with the sentiment to hide the bottom of them where they all join together but you could also have used the bow on the bottom and done them all sort of coming behind the bow portion or you could have uh, tied it up with a little bit of twine as well and I think that would have looked lovely and I did actually add the twine to the bottom of the card too but I didn't add a bow because I'd used the die cut bow so um, you can sort of mix and match using an actual twine bow or the die cut bow if you're not very good at tying um, twine bows as well so those are the extra cards that I managed to have a little bit of time to create so I will pass you back to uh, past me to finish off the video for you So hopefully Future Me just showed you a few more ideas of how to use some of the dies and stamps in this Country Garden Milk Churn um, Cyber Week set. Um, and I hope you enjoyed these samples and the other ones that I've already hopefully will have just shown you as well. Um, and if you're interested in getting hold of this set there will be affiliate links in the description box below the video and also on my blog post and I'll try to link to the country jug and the other stamp sets and mason jar and stuff if I can find them that I have uh, talked about in this video as well because I really do think they'll go really nicely together um, and I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for staying until the end as well um, and I hope you've been enjoying all of the cyber week deals as well. I'm not sure what order everything's going up in, so this could be one of the first, it could be one of the last, but um, hopefully you've been enjoying everything either way. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye! <laughs>